This is Chicago's very own WGN Evening News at 6. This reform is one of transparency and safety. There are still crimes that we cannot hold a person in jail for committing them pretrial, despite how dangerous they may be. State Supreme Court says an overhaul of Illinois' criminal justice system is constitutional. That decision will make Illinois the first state in the nation to eliminate cash bail. And WGN political reporter Taman Bradley is live in the loop with the latest now. Taman. Ray and Micah, in the fall, 100 of Illinois' 102 state's attorneys opposed the law. Now they'll all have to enforce it. Illinois is set to become the first state to eliminate cash bail after the state Supreme Court upheld landmark pretrial detention reforms. These important and these life-changing decisions about release and detention will now be made in robust and individualized hearings. In the 5-2 to two decision split along party lines, the justices ruled that the law does not violate the state's constitution. Chief Justice Mary Jane Tice writing for the majority, the constitution does not mandate that monetary bail is the only means to ensure criminal defendants appear for trials or the only means to protect the public. Cook County State's Attorney Kim Fox lauds the ruling as a victory for economic and racial justice. It feels good to be on the right side of history. The reality is that we knew that this legislation was constitutional, and the reality also was that we had a bail system in place um, that was not necessarily keeping our community safe, uh, that was keeping people locked in jail pre-trial um, simply because they were poor and, and not a threat to the public. The decision is a win for Governor Pritzker and the Democratic-controlled legislature who for years faced criticism for pursuing no cash bail. In a statement, the governor said he was pleased with the decision. We can now move forward with historic reform to ensure pretrial detainment is determined by the danger an individual poses to the community instead of their ability to pay their way out of jail. That view is not universally held. 58 county state's attorneys fought the law, arguing it will make communities less safe. Bob Berlin is the DuPage County state's attorney. If we show that someone uh, is a threat to a person, persons, or the community, for most violent offenses, uh, judges are going to have the ability to detain people without bond, uh, and I am confident that they will do that. Uh, but unfortunately, there are still some offenses, burglary being one of them, uh, unless there's injury to a person during the course of the burglary, Judges will not have the ability to detain people for burglary. Jamie Mosser is the top prosecutor in Kane County. I remain concerned that we're going to see spikes in certain areas of crime and certain people because we can't hold them. Defendants currently being held in jail because they couldn't pay bail will be able to petition the court for pretrial release beginning September 18th. We're live downtown. Tamon Bradley, WGN News. Thanks, Tamon.